everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. Before we get into some NFL action for week three, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. All right, so let's get started. Some good matchups in store for us for this week. And the first one we want to look at, uh, let's see what we got here. Not Atlanta and Detroit. There's a lot of people making comments already, so you can come down through and look at these. First game we want to look at is Buffalo and Washington. Washington's off to an impressive 2-0 start, and very surprising 2-0 start by beating uh, Denver and Arizona. Although those two teams aren't that great, still, they're still 2-0, and you can only beat who's on your schedule. Um, Buffalo's coming in 1-1. They got their first win of the year after losing their opener to the Jets. You see Buffalo is a Pretty large uh, road favor, 6.5 points, with odds of 1.41 to 2.974. The over/under is set at 43.5. Uh, Washington has a slim uh, advantage as far as chance of winning, 51% to 49%. The score predictor also has it in the sim similar edge, very small, 23-21 for uh, Washington. The odds of the prediction, uh, excuse me, confidence in the prediction is only about 40%. Important thing to note is that Washington has covered the spread in 80% of their last five games as an underdog. Um, if we look at the power ranks indicator. See that Buffalo is at plus 16, while Washington is at plus 24. Let's take a look at the line movement. You see the line movement here. As Buffalo... Opened at 1.45. You see there's been some movement on the line. They, it got to 1.34. And now it's back to 1.41. So just about where it started. I think this is Buffalo's game. I know it's on the road. I don't. I can't see Washington starting at 3-0. This is the best team they've faced so far this season. And Buffalo, I think, is going to start showing that they are one of the best teams in the league. So let's go with Buffalo in this one. Denver and Miami. Here's two teams. Uh, heading in opposite directions. You see Miami's coming off of two straight wins, and Denver started the season with two straight losses. Uh, Miami is burning hot versus ice cold down. You can see the odds are 1.37 to 3.165, which translates into almost a full touchdown and extra point favorite, 6.5 point favorite for Miami, over under sitting at 48.5. You see Miami's given a pretty good chance of winning this contest at 68% to 32%. The score prediction is seeing the same thing, but, but more in a blowout fashion, 37 to 11. Again, the confidence in the prediction is rather low yet, though, at 51%. Denver, though, has covered the spread 80% of the last five games as an underdog, so take that into consideration uh, before you make the bet. On the power ranks indicator, not a surprise that Miami is higher. You can see they're on an upward trend at plus 20 as of the 17th, and Denver has dropped from 16 to plus 7. If we take a look at the movement in the line, there we go, line movement. Okay, so you can see here Miami opened that as a 1.45 favorite. And look at this. Look at this big increase in their, in their favor of 1.31. And now it's sitting at 1.37. So it's still a very heavy favor for Miami. And I like the Dolphins in this one in a game going over the line. Houston at Jacksonville, we're not going to take a look at that one. Plenty of games to look at. Indianapolis and Baltimore. We'll skip over that one as well. New England and the Jets. This should be a pretty good game in the AFC East, even though New England hasn't lost their first two. I'm not going to really take a look at that one, though, but might be one that you guys that are watching this might want to consider. New Orleans and Green Bay. This is one I want to look at. New Orleans is starting off 2-0, uh, winning against Carolina and edging Tennessee and two low scoring games. They've been involved in games under the line in the first two. So they're burning hot. Uh, Green Bay is coming off of a loss to Atlanta, one point loss, but they won their first game on the road against Chicago. Uh, Green Bay is a favorite, a slight favorite of 1.5 points. And you can see here, New Orleans is given a 54% chance of winning the game. And in fact, the score prediction has New Orleans also 24 to 19. But the confidence in the prediction is pretty low yet at 49%. One thing to note is that the teams have been trending on opposite sides of the over underline. New Orleans under, Green Bay over. On the power ranks indicator, 
You see Green Bay is on an upward trend at plus 26. New Orleans at an upward trend as well, and they're at plus 21. In the end, I see Green Bay winning this one. It's hard to pick against them at home. I think they're going to win this one. But because the teams are trending on opposite sides of the over-under, I'm going to pass on the over-under bet. The Chargers and the Vikings. Here's two teams that are going nowhere so far. So somebody has to get into the win column. Well, unless there's a tie, I'm not thinking there's going to be a tie. Although it's a pretty even matchup. Look, the odds are dead even. Basically a pick -em game. Uh, Minnesota is a 1.5 point home favorite. Uh, the Chargers given a slight 54% to 46% edge in, in, in the chance of winning the game. Uh, the teams have been involved in games more over the line than under in three of the last four. The score prediction has Minnesota by 11, 27 to 16, but the confidence in the prediction, not surprising, is very, very low at 18%. So just kind of throw that out the window at the moment. I just thought I'd uh, throw that out there. You can take a look at that as it gets closer to the game. Maybe that has changed. Uh, the power ranks indicate not surprised. Both teams at the very bottom here, plus one and plus three, respectively. Uh, let's see if there's been any significant movement in the line. So here's the money line, the Minnesota money line opened at 2.1, and they have been, uh, 2.1 puts them as an underdog, actually. Now 1.9 puts it pretty much even or a slight home favorite. So in the end, I do think that this is, it's kind of a tough one pick, but in the end, I think this is going to be the Chargers. I just don't like Minnesota right now. I like the Chargers to keep the Vikings winless, and I'm going to go with the game under the line this time. Okay, now we're going to look at Carolina and Seattle. In this one here, Seattle comes in 1-1, one one, coming off of a win over Detroit. In Detroit, in overtime, it's a pretty impressive win, but Carolina is just dead in the water at the moment. They're coming off of a loss, two losses in a row. Um, score prediction has Seattle by a wide margin, 33-16. to 16. The confidence in prediction, again, is just like flipping a coin, though. But if you look up here, Seattle has a 69% chance of winning, and they are 5.5 point favorites at home. The over-under sitting at a relatively low 41.5, but the teams have been involved in games under the line in three out of the last four. So that's a pretty good indication that this one will also be a, a lower scoring game, but let's wait and see what the prediction is going to be. Um, Seattle has won 80% as a favorite in the last five games, so that take that into consideration before you make your bet. And the power ranks indicator shows both teams on the downward trend, not a surprise, Carolina plus nine, Seattle all the way down at plus two. Has there been a movement in the line since it opened up? Let's take a look. Looks like there's been significant movement in the line. Started at 1.51. Yep, let's take a look at this again, there we go. 1.51, you can see there's a sharp move detected against Seattle. There's another sharp move detected against Seattle and another one as well. So you can see there's been significant movement in the line. In the end, I think I'm going to go. I'm going to go with Seattle. I'm going to go with the Seahawks to win this one and cover. And I'm going to go against what the trends have been so far. And I'm going to go over the line in this one. So there you have it. Those are the games for the NFL that I'm going to take a look at for this week. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.